Hi guys, Matt here from Wildways Bushcraft and Survival North Wales. Um, so today I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to split a big log like this using an axe um, safely. How to do it anyway? Um, so big logs like this, obviously you don't want to be standing them up because they might not stand. They're going to fall over, um, and even if they do stand, the chances of that slipping and falling um, and you deflecting off of the axe and causing damage to yourself it's just far too many things that can go wrong with that um, and you're probably thinking well just use your saw cut that in half and that way you can put that onto a log and split it that way yeah you could do that um, but this is a way to me this is a way that I reduce wear and tear on my saw especially if I've only got a small saw with me like a back of Laplander or something like that um, I don't want to be using that constantly processing wood of this size because um, it's just going to create so much wear and tear on your saw if you've got a bigger saw yeah you could do um, but as I say this is a this is a way to reduce the wear and tear really from from your saw and it's a safe way um, of splitting logs big logs like this with an axe okay so all we've got obviously the log that we want to split on top of another log just to lift it off the ground and then we're going to attack it with our axe <clears throat> making sure that our feet are I like to make sure that my feet are sort of in line with the log that's going horizontal to me um, nice wide stance and then obviously you want to you want to size up and then just give it one big swing and then when that swing comes through even if you miss you're going to go straight between your legs and not really going to cause any drama to your legs okay and that's a great split straight down the middle and then you could attack this again if you wanted to okay guys and then we can split this again um, by just attacking it in the same manner There we go and when you break this down into smaller um, chunks like this then you can go through them with your saw and it's still going to take um, the pressure off your saw a lot because it's going to be easier to cut through that with your saw a lot quicker and easier to cut through that and even that than the whole chunk together um, so yeah, it's just um, it's just about obviously reducing the stress on our kit as well guys um, so yeah hopefully that's been helpful to some of you um, any t any other tips or feedback anything that you've picked up more than welcome to hear your feedback on that um, go test it out for yourself and see what you think cheers guys